All right, I've been told. Thank you. Thank you. I've been told that there is some Antifa protesters in here that are attacking police, but they're undercover. And uh, they're here. They're scared to do anything. Well, they're and they're doing it to provoke is, is what they're doing. So that's what we've been told. The Antifa is undercover in here, trying to basically antagonize the uh, Capitol Police. I, I can't confirm that. That's just what someone told me, and I've actually had uh, someone else as well uh, confirm that as well. I'm going to get a shot this way. Joe, off to your right. Gives you an idea of where we just came from and just how many people are down below. Oh, Okay, now we got some tear gas coming out. We got tear gas, so this is when we probably need to uh, we need to duck down and get. Uh, yeah. We're, uh, all right, we're gonna cover our mouse real quick. So this is when it's gonna get. It's when it, it might get a little. Hang on, just give us a moment. So, all right, Rick Sue joining us, man. What what is your thoughts on what we're seeing right now? It, it's unprecedented. Completely without precedent, I can tell you. I was set up with the rest of our crew on the east side right. to see the speakers that were slated to talk there at 1 p.m. But once it became apparent that the streets were blocked off and the crowds weren't going to be able to come to that side of the Capitol, it was a little sketchy and we decided to regroup and head back towards our hotel where we were going to do a nighttime show. As I was walking down the street, I saw what was happening here on the Capitol steps and I knew that you guys were here somewhere. So I broke off from the rest of the team to try and find you. And I couldn't find you. What I found was chaos. Because the people here who are breaking windows, I saw when it initially started, classic Antifa, no Trump gear, black stuff, black hoods, had hatchets, had hammers. Patriots don't come to a rally like this today with hatchets and hammers. So what you're saying right now is the, the violence that we've seen was in t was really initiated by Antifa, uh, Black Lives Matter type groups. I would, in my estimation, the window breaking was. But the storming of the Capitol steps, that is not something that I think was initiated by them. Uh, what I think we have, unfortunately, is we have a huge, huge amount of people here who support the president and believe that the election was stolen. But there is no consensus as to what the path forward is. Some believe that that path is to completely store, it's just a flashbang, that's all right. Some believe that the correct path is to storm the Capitol, to go inside. I don't agree. I believe it was perfectly appropriate to come as far as we see here, to stop at the doors, to be peaceful, to have a sit-in. I got a cough, hang on. Right. <laughs> I can't advocate for any type of armed resistance. Peaceful protest is what we should be doing. If we were trying to get in and everybody just sat down and occupied this space, they would not be having this type of this type of thing. And, and one thing I saw is one time they repulsed all the people who were in the little gateway there. I had on a 360 GoPro. I haven't had a chance to look at the footage. But one police officer came out with that crew. He was being pushed out with the scrum. Okay, but if you better. Uh, and I, I saw him, and Hang some, on a every. Right okay. You need, you need to stop and cover your mouth. No, I'm good. No, you're not going to be good here. All right. Take a deep breath. Cover him. Close the eyes. We got to go. We got to go. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna walk out of here. <laughs> you know, I shot a woman there. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Oh man. Police day, huh? I feel initiated. Oh guys, uh, that that is no joke. Uh, what happened to us? Yeah. I don't wish on anybody, but as Brick Suit was saying, I think the violence that we've seen was uncalled. I think having more of a sit-in protest is the way to go, but but fighting the Capitol Police, you're not going to win. That, that was tough, guys. I got to say that that was a very tight space to try to operate from, and when things got crazy, there's nowhere to go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah.
where were they? Were all the riots all summer with BLM and Antifa? I didn't see any of these guys. Correct. Any of them. Correct. With complete impunity, they rioted in all these Traitor. cities, burning down businesses, doing whatever they wanted. Yep. We come here to peacefully protest or do what we had to do. There's a coup against our country and they do this. BLM Antifa can blow up buildings, do whatever they want. But we come here holding Blue Lives Matter signs and we get shot with rubber bullets. I saw a seven-year-old girl get pepper sprayed. We're, I'm done with this country. Thank you. A lot of people feel the same way. I mean, that was one of the things I heard earlier, that during the summer, you saw police stand down to a lot of protesters. And, of course, now uh, Capitol Police have uh, confronted in the way that they've done today. And uh, there, there's, there's Brick. Brick's seat right there. All right, Brick's open. But we were talking, and, of course, we got, well, we got hit with that pepper gas. Yeah. But you're saying that uh, Antifa-like characters are the one that initiated a lot of this violence. Well, it was very interesting to see, like, they would get up and they would get on the windows and they'd start hammering on the windows and then other people would notice and start to pull them off. Really? So it's not the crowd was not behind these people breaking windows and going through. The initial people who broke the hammers were acting on their own. There was no call. Nobody was yelling, break the windows, break the windows. And then somebody showed up with a hammer and started hammering windows. And it's someone with, like, a, a black hoodie didn't look, I mean, what does a Trump supporter look like? But they, you know... We all have a way to identify ourselves. We have red hats, we have stickers, we have shirts, we have flags. They had none of that. Yeah. So, you know, I have my doubts as to whether or not they were actually, um, you know, people who support President Trump fully and, you know, people who voted for him or if they are infiltrators here set to discredit the group of patriots who are here to support the no, president. I'm with you because you and I have seen enough Trump rallies. We know what a Trump supporter looks like, and we know that MAGA country is not going to go up there and, and, and create violence and, and initiate anything like that.